Okay, so we're going to demonstrate a, uh, a an ultra wideband near field phase array radar system. So over here we have the uh, range versus range and amplitude display. Refreshes about once every two seconds or so. Um, if we back up a little bit, we can see all of the radar equipment. Starting from the bottom, we have a ultra wideband sweep oscillator, power splitter, beat frequency oscillator, radar control and power supply, power supply, intermediate frequency, IF attenuation. Uh, that's a computer with the uh, National Instruments um, DIO and data acquisition cards. And on the left is the radar transmit front end, and on the right is the receive front end. Over here is the uh, phased array itself. This big green box here is where all the uh, antenna controls are located. And then coming around the front, <laughs> Christmas lights still out, you can see the uh, the receive the element. So the bottom row here, these are the transmit elements. There's 13 of those. The top row are the receive element. And if we zoom in to a receive element, you can eh, kind of see that there is a a low noise amplifier on each uh, receive element to preserve the noise figure. Maybe um, a milliwatt at most gets out of this thing due to the switch losses. <clears throat> but it's a really neat unit and. Uh, it's used for looking through walls. That's what I developed it for, but uh, a more advanced version was built at uh, MIT Lincoln Laboratory while I was a staff member there. But this one will be used to demonstrate uh, how it works for readers of the book. Okay, so today I'm going to demonstrate a uh, phase array radar imaging system. And the first thing we have to do uh, is to calibrate the unit and we'll do that by running the VI and it tells you what to do so I just hit play it says play scale target and hit OK. So I'm going to place this copper pole here. Right there. This is the calibration target. I'm going to hit OK. And it says remove the cal target. Do that. Starting to rain a little bit. Okay. Okay, remove the cal target. And now we'll place uh, we'll place something out there to check the see if we're Zoom in here. And those two copper cylinders are clearly shown uh, in range and cross range. So what we'll do next is uh, we'll record um, some data. We'll do the same experiment and then just this time we'll just record it so that I might be able to play it back uh, in MATLAB and therefore integrate a nicer video with this uh, demonstration. That is the uh, phase rate radar system. Okay, so right now uh, I just have a hammer sitting out there holding down my styrofoam table, shown right there. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to place a couple of really bright targets out there. We'll be able to see those both range and Okay, 
So there we have uh, two copper cylinders, uh, distinct in both range and cross range. And I'll pan the camera over so you can see. Uh, we'll focus. There we go. Okay. So then uh, I will uh, remove the cylinders. and then uh, place myself out there as a target. There'll be some blurring when I move the targets around. And slowly walk this way across the uh, radar. If I move too fast, it blurs. phase array radar system. Okay, we're going to record a series of both still and real-time imagery from this system. Um, the recording frame rate is higher than the process frame rate displayed on the radar itself, so this imagery should look a little more interesting. So first I'm going to calibrate the system. Place a cal target. This is the cal target. This. Okay. You okay. Radar is acquiring data. All right. Remove it. Get a background of the thing. The styrofoam and these uh, cylinders. Range, cross range. targets. here slowly because this radar, this one in particular is slow. It's only about a one to two, maybe one frame per second. So I move too fast, the image will blur. So I'm just going to stand out here.
I'll walk around with this. Some of this stuff up. All right. We'll process this data and play it back. <laughs> 